Hello, my brothers and sisters. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to my channel. This is Minister May. Today, my brothers and sisters, I will be sharing with you the Word of God, the powerful Word of God. I will be reading today from God's promise for your every need. God's promise for your every need. I find this book to be comforting. I find this book to be uplifting. I find this book to be encouraging. I find this book to be life. It's life because it's the word of God. Like he states that heaven and earth will pass, but not one tittle, not one jot of his word will pass. So today I come to encourage us today. Some of us need encouragement. Some of us need uplifting. So I come in no other name but in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, to give us all a word, to encourage us, to lift our spirits this morning. The Bible say, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rise against us in judgment thou shalt condemn, because this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord and their righteousness, Isaiah 54 and 17. So we stand on the word of God this morning this afternoon, this evening, tonight, whatever time zone that you may get this word, I stop by in the name of Jesus to lift us up today with the word of God. And in this book, there are different prayer areas and prayer needs and prayer requests. And I stop by here in answered prayer, answered prayer. And it read on this page, and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. Isaiah 65 and 24. I'm going to read the word of God today because everything else in this life will fail, but the word of God will stand forever. Everything else will crumble, but the word of God will stand because he said he is his word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. So we know that this word will stand forever and forever till eternity. The word of God will stand Acts, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asks it, receive it. And he that seek it, find it. And to him that knock it, it shall be opened. Matthew 7, 7 and 8. This is the word of the Lord. We are here to encourage one another today. We are here to uplift one another. Some of you might be broken. Some of you might be depressed. Some of you might be sad. Some of you might be going through a situation. Some of your backs may be pressed against the wall. You, you might find it hard right now to even provide for your family. You might find it difficult, um, sickness, pain, hurt, whatever it is that you are going through today. The remedy, my brothers and sisters, is the word of God. The remedy for you and for me today is the word of God that will stand no matter what Heaven and earth will pass, but this word, I guarantee you, this word will stand. And the only thing I need in my life in this hour and in this season is the word of God. So I encourage you, as I encourage myself, let us grab a hold of the word of God this morning. Let us grab a hold of the word of God this afternoon, tonight. Grab a hold of the word of God. That is your comforter. The Bible says in 
in John 14 and 26, the Comforter, the Father will send the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost that will teach us all things and will bring all things back to our remembrance. We need the Comforter, which is the Word of God. We need the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. He said, I will not leave you comfortless, but I will send the Spirit of Truth. Hallelujah. The Spirit of Truth. We have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit to lead us and to guide us into all truth. So as we continue to read answered prayers and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye re shall receive, and all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive, Matthew 21 and 22 just believe in prayer just believe that whatever you pray and you ask your father god for in the name of jesus christ today we believe that we receive our healing we believe that we receive our deliverance we believe that we receive our victory we believe that we receive breakthrough for our success and for our health and for our strength and for our victory in the name of jesus christ we believe today that no matter what we face and what we go through, David declares in Psalms 23 and, four, and verse 4, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I shall fear no evil, because thou art with me. Psalms 32 and 7 say, Thou art my hiding place. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. You have the victory today. I have the victory today in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. As we continue to read, to encourage our spirits, encourage us today, to uplift us today. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst of them. God is in the midst of you this morning, my brother, my sister. God is in the midst wherever two or three of you are gathered. All you need is a sister, brother, to hold fast. You don't need the bishop. You don't need the pastor. You just need two believers, two people that believe in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you can ask, and he will be in the midst to answer, to bless, to restore, to deliver, whatever that situation is, whatever that need is. Matthew 18, 19 through 20. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them and ye shall have them. Mark 11 and 24, just believe today, my brothers and sisters, just believe in the word of God. It's my life today. It's my strength today. It's my hope today. My confidence is not in man, but it's in the word of God. My joy today comes from him. My victory today comes from him. Hallelujah. I encourage you today, as I encourage myself, grab this word. Let this word be a benchmark. Let this word be the life and the hope and the joy and the peace. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care what you're facing. When I'm saying I don't care, I mean you have the word of God. The power is in the word of God. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but God, he deliver us out of them all. So no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, no matter how the situation seems and appears, I say trust God. Trust this word. Trust the name of Jesus Christ to bring you out, to set you free, to deliver you. I don't care what you are bound by. I got the power because it's in the name of Jesus. It's in the word of God. So we hold the word and we stand on the word and we bind and cancel and we reject every plot, scheme, attack of the enemy. We cast down every imagination and we pull down every stronghold in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. We come in the name of Jesus Christ. We come armed. We under the whole armor. We are covered by the armor of God. 
The breastplate of righteousness. I learned it's good about the truth. The shield of faith. The sword of the spirit. The word of God. Our feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. What he said, he said, we are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. I come to say, I am the light. You are the light today. The light is in Jesus Christ today. And we stand as light, as representative of Jesus Christ upon the earth. No weapon form against you. No weapon form against your family. No weapon form against your marriage shall prosper. Because God gives you the power to condemn every tongue that rise up against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. The Bible says, no hand join in hand. The wicked will not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Your seed shall be delivered, shall be healed, shall be set free in the name of Jesus from drugs, from alcohol, from abuse, from rape, from molestation. Whatever the pain, the suffering is, they shall be delivered. In the name of Jesus, we bind and we sever and we cancel and we reject every plot and every scheme and every attack of the enemy from off our family. We come radical because we come in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I encourage you today to be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. To lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him. Come on, just allow God to do it for you today. I'm depending on him. Yes, I'm going through too. But the God I serve, he promised, he said, I will never leave you, nor will I forsake you. He said, and all these blessings shall come upon you when we do what? Abide in him. Abide in his laws and his rules, his commandment and his statue. All these blessings, blessed shall thou be in the city, blessed shall thou be in the field, and the going and the coming. But we got to stick to the word. We got to believe this word. We got to hold fast to this word. The word of God, we got to live this. The Bible says in Psalm 66 and 18, if we regard iniquity in our hearts, God will not hear us. So I encourage us to ask the Holy Spirit to purge us, ask the blood of Jesus to wash us and sanctify us and pull out every and anything that is not God in us. So that when we call on the name of Jesus, and before you call, I will answer you. He will show up. Get our life purge out and purify. We confess our sins, First John 1 and 9. He's faithful and he is just to forgive us and cleanse us. Yes, I confess daily. I ask God to cleanse me of every sin and any sin may be in my life. So when I approach the throne of grace, so when I approach his throne, I would have access because I ask him to cleanse me and to purge out every and anything in my life. I come in the name of Jesus Christ and I want you to come I want you to stand and I want you to look that problem look that situation look that thing in its face and say in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I command you to get out hey, I command you to flee I command you to drop and die cancer sickness disease infection infirmity we bind your powers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we come with the word of God we come with the because the power is in the word of God today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We come in the name of Jesus. We come in the name of Jesus Christ today. I encourage you today. Grab a hold of this word. Because guess what? When everything else around you begin to crumble. And you don't know what to do or how to do it. You don't understand. You grab this word and say, Holy Spirit, I need you to come. Show up in me, Spirit of God. Take control of my life. Lead me in this situation. You don't understand it all the time. I don't understand it all the time. Your back is pressed against the wall. Your husband, your children, your son, your daughter, Grammy, Addy, uncle, cousin, whatever the situation is, your job, whatever it is today, whatever you're fighting, whatever drug addiction, alcohol, whatever abuse, whatever it is, molestation, rape, violent crime, whatever it is, the blood of Jesus Christ. We apply the blood of Jesus over our families, over our children, children, children. We apply the blood over our seed. We cover them in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover them. They shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. David said, I've been young and now I'm old. Yet have I ever seen the righteous forsaken or seed begging for bread? You will not beg bread. Yes, we fall on little rough times, on little shaky, but God says, I will bring you out. I will hold you up in the palm of my righteous right hand. We got to trust this word today. 
grab this word even when you don't understand just grab it find find a scripture just read and say god give me the understanding i don't know it all but i know who know it all god i don't understand everything i'm still learning but for the grace of god i am standing so i encourage you today in the name of jesus christ i encourage you to rise up out of your situation you've been depressed you've been broken traumatized bereaved you, you, you've been going through the situation darkness seems to be all around but i stop by in the name of jesus christ today and i speak life over you i speak peace and favor and blessing over you to rise up in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up shake yourself dust yourself Go in the tub, take a shower, take a bath and say, hey, this is the day that the Lord has made. I shall rejoice and be glad in it. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rise up against me, I condemn it in the name of Jesus because I am the servant of God. You are the servant of God. You stand up in the name of Jesus Christ. You stand firm and stand strong in the name of Jesus because no good thing would he would hold from them that walk uprightly. Psalms 84, 11b, nothing good but God would hold from them that walk uprightly. You are a servant of the Lord. You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So we stand on his word. You might be hurting, your heart might be hurting. We be saying, God, I don't understand, God, I don't know how to do this, how to, how to, how to go through this, God. He said, I got you, daughter. He said, I got you, son. Just lean on me, cast every care every burden cast it upon the lord today i encourage you today in the name of jesus you who are sitting there on that couch you're laying in your bed you come across this this, this channel this video i encourage you in the name of jesus christ if it's just one of you i encourage you to rise up in jesus christ's name take up the weapon the weapon of your warfare not carnal but a mighty true god to the pulling down of stronghold pull down that thing in the name of jesus that that thing that of our shoe that thing that is trying to cause you to lose your mind Grab the word of God, fall on your knees, take a day, fast and pray and cry out to God. Seek his face in the name of Jesus Christ. A broken and a contrite heart, he will not despise today. He will not despise you today. I encourage you in Jesus' name as I encourage myself. Yes, I encourage you as I encourage me. I need encouragement. I come in the name of Jesus and I come with the word of God today. You be blessed. You be strengthened today. Trust in the Lord today. He has the answer when we don't have the answer. When we don't know what to do or how to do it, God knows it today. I encourage you today. I encourage you today in Jesus' name. It's not easy all the time. It's not pretty all the time. But with God, you can do all things. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer today. Just take up the word. Get in the word and pray. Wash yourself off. Ask the Holy Spirit to come in and cleanse you and purge you and purify you. He loves you today. He loved me today. That's why he sent his only begotten son to die on the cross. Be encouraged today, my brothers and sisters. I just stopped by, grab your Bible. I had this little prayer book, I guess, over eight, ten years. I think I had this prayer book. And I grab it up. I have my scriptures here. I just write down my scriptures. And I have them right here. I have everything right here. I just just go through them. I just just read them. I just just go through just want to share this one it says verily verily i say unto you he that believeth on me the works that i do shall he do also and greater works than these shall he do because i go unto my father john 14 and 12 what he's saying greater works god give us that power he said, greater works you and me. Once we abide in him and his word abide in us, 
once we seek ye first the kingdom of God, once we keep him as head of our life, Savior, King, Lord, we have access. We have access to the power, to the anointing that Jesus said greater works than these shall be do because he go to his father. So he send the comforter to empower us. He send the Holy Spirit to empower us to give us that power and that anointing that we need to go out there and do his will. Your work might be to feed the poor. Your work might be just to visit and pray for someone. It's not going on the pulpit, preaching and screaming and hollering. It's the love and the compassion and the kindness we show to our brothers and our sisters, to the homeless, to the poor, to the less fortunate one, to that neighbor who is struggling, to that one across the way, that person you don't even know in a drop in your spirit. To be a blessing to just sow a seed into their life and you don't even know who they are yes we need our pastors we need our bishops we need our apostles but all, each and every one of us has a work that god has called us to do and i just stop by to encourage you today where to suggest take a small bag of groceries to a brother to a sister to a friend where to just take some water you buy three cases of water and you say, I'm going to drop one to the neighbor down the road for her children. Whatever you find your hands to do, you do it in love, you do it in compassion, you do it in humility. God will reward you. He said, blessed are those who consider the poor. The Lord will deliver him in the time of trouble. The Lord will bless him upon the earth and the Lord will keep him alive. The Lord, even on his bed of language and his bed of affliction, God will show up and nurse him back to health when we consider the poor. So I encourage us today, just keep our heart right. Yes, sometimes we fall short. Yes, sometimes we mess up, we slip up. But he said, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us. If we are broken and contrite, God sees the heart. He wants our heart. He wants us today. Let us surrender completely to him that he would lead us, that he would guide us, he would order our steps, that he would direct our path. Let his word be the benchmark to your life today. No matter the hurt, no matter the pain, no matter the situation, God got you. God got you today. God got you today, my brother, my sister, my friend. Wherever you are in this world, trust and know that God is your refuge and strength. He's a very present help in the time of trouble today. Isaiah 40 and 31 says, They that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint today. You will not faint today. It's dark, it's gloomy, it's hard, it's hurting, it's traumatizing, but you will not faint today. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed, but abided forever today. You shall abide forever. Psalms 125 and 1. You shall abide today. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God and him will I trust. He shall deliver us today. Psalms 91. Come on, my brothers and sisters. Let us grab a hold of the word of God. I understand. I've been broken. I've been traumatized. I've been bereaved. My back has been pressed against the wall. I've been abused. I've been molested, rejected, taken advantage of. But for the grace of God, I am standing today. Oh, how he loved me so. Oh, how he cares so much about me. He loves you and he cares about you. I am a testimony. That's why I am here today, to encourage you. Broken, traumatized, bereaved, wounded, and weary. Lost my parents at a very young age, had to raise myself. Had lots of family, like I always say. But here I am today. I give God all the praise and all the glory, the reject, the drop out of school. Glory be to God. But look at God today. He is faithful and he is just today. He's merciful. He is kind. He 
He wants to lift you up today. He wants to pull you out of the muck and the mire and the miry clay today. Just give him your heart. Give him your hands today. Let him hold you. Let him love you. He said, I will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because we trust in him today. Trust God today. Trust him today in the midst of your hurt, in the midst of your pain. God want to use you. He want to use you for his glory. He want to use your mess for a testimony. He want to clean you up and turn your life around so you could reach the next boy, the next girl, the next man, the next woman. Allow God to mold you, make you, and shape you into the man, into the woman that he's called and ordained you to be from the foundation of the world. I encourage you today. Be blessed. Be strengthened. Be uplifted today is my prayer. Grab the word of God today. Because when everything seems to be going wrong, sometimes you can't reach sister, brother, aunt, uncle, cousin, friend. You can't reach mommy. You can't reach daddy. You can reach Jesus Christ. You can call on him today. He's a friend that will never, never leave you. I encourage you to trust him today and to lean on him today. Be blessed, be encouraged. Like this video, subscribe. Share it with a friend, share it with a family member. God bless you. God keep you. This is my prayer. Until another video. Blessings to you, my brothers and sisters. In Jesus' name.